Jay Spears here with Levi Long to bring you your announcements. First up, Casey and Derek with the Warhawk Sports. This is Warhawk News Sports Section. I'm your host, Casey Walker, along with Derek Brown. We'll be bringing you the sports. There is a JV boys and girls basketball game tonight. There's also varsity games tomorrow. State Jazz is on Saturday. In other news, the hockey lockout is over. As many of you know, the NFL playoffs begun as the wild card weekend started last weekend, and the divisional round starts this weekend. The Bengals and Texans clashed when Houston won. The Colts and the Ravens played, and the Ravens got it done in, in Baltimore. Seattle took on the Redskins. RG3's injury led to the Redskins losing that football game. And the Vikings couldn't get it done against the Packers after they beat them in Week 17. Our predictions last week were 3-1, and one, with the only loss coming off the Colts game. The Ravens play the Broncos this weekend, and we predict that the Broncos will get it done against Baltimore. Houston goes to Foxborough, and we think that Tom Brady will take care of business against the Texans' defense. Seattle takes on the Falcons, and we think that Russell Wilson and crew will get it done. The Packers go to the 49ers and Candlestick, and we think that Green Bay is going to get it done there. If our predictions are correct, the AFC matchup will be a huge clash between Brady and Manning again. And the Pack will play Seattle, and they'll finally get the rematch after that touchdown interception play earlier in the season. Also, the BCS games, Bulls have been going on for the past couple weeks, and Oregon beats Kansas State in the Fiesta Bowl. Iowa State couldn't quite get it done against Tulsa in the Liberty Bowl. Stanford beat Wisconsin in the Rose Bowl. And the BCS National Championship happened on the 7th, and uh, the, ugh, Bama got it done against Notre Dame, 42-14. This was the sports section. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to inform you, Dylan Comstock retired after his long lunch season, and Christopher Cooley feels sick. Oh, that's depressing. Well, let's lighten the mood with Jacob Sampson's Joke of the Day. Hey, North Mahaska. I'm Jacob Sampson with your Warhop Joke of the Week. Here's the question. What's the loudest state? No answer? I'll tell you. It's Illinois. Well, I know it's not as good as Carl's, but have a good Warhawk week. See ya. That was funny stuff, Jacob. Now let's turn it over to Mr. Malone with Where in the World is Mr. Malone? Hello, everyone. It's me again. I'm back for another exciting episode of Where in the World is Mr. Malone? Today I'm going to England and I'm here and I'm surrounded by a huge amount of these stones. Now, these stones are thousands of years old, so have you figured out where I am yet? Here's one more hint. These stones are arranged in a circle. I'll be back at the end of the show to see if you can figure this out. Well, I'm stumped on that one. Better luck to you, North Mahaska. Now Samuel with this week's movie review. I'll be reviewing Red Dawn today. Also, this week, Landon can't be here because he didn't see the movie. So, Landon, I'm sorry, but I'll have to do it without you. Um, so, Red Dawn is an action movie in which the USA is taken over by, I'm not sure, but I think it's North Korea. Now, there is a small group of terrorists who are the good guys. They're called the Wolverines because that was their school name before North Korea took over their city. <clears throat> also, um, the whole city, kind of, the whole movie, they're trying to take back a huge city, and the main characters kind of see their dad get killed in part of it, and there's a lot of action throughout the movie. Um, one of the things I think is pretty good about the movie is a lot of it you'd think is just going to be mushy gushy stuff like a lot of it shows in the middle and so. And actually there are a lot of blood, there's not much blood, but there's a lot of violence. And they couldn't really, I think, pull off blood spurting from you when you're being shot by an AK or anything. Uh, also, there are a lot of really fun parts in this movie where you just want to scream, go get them, and stuff. And, well, that's the end. Reviewer out. That sounds like a great movie. I'll try getting around to see it. Up next, Caleb Gipple with Your Weather. 
Hello North Mahaska, Caleb Gipple here with your Warhawk weather. I hope you had a very Merry Christmas and I hope you've been enjoying this wonderful winter weather. So starting off, today we will have a high of 40 and a low of 38. There will also be a 70% chance of precipitation. Then tomorrow we will have a high of 51 and a low of 30. There will also be a 30% chance of precipitation. Then it will be there will be a high of 33 and a low of 14. Then it will be a high of 28 and a low of 17. Brr, that sounds chilly. That's not good. Cold weather and I don't get along. Anyway, here's Kennedy with the Person of the Week. Welcome to the Teacher of the Week, starring Mr. Malone. Um, I'm going to ask him a couple questions. Um, how long have you been walking here at North Mahaska? This is my eighth year teaching at North Mahaska. Um, did you have another job before you started working here, and where? I've taught at three other schools. I started at Cumberland Messina. I've taught at Iowa Christian Academy and at Des Moines Christian and Eagle Grove. I guess four schools. Okay. Um, what do you like to do in your free time? I like to look up real estate. That's one of the best things I do. Someday I'm going to have a beautiful place picked out on a lake, and I'm going to be there. So I like to dream about going to my lake. Okay then. <laughs> Okay, um, what is your favorite part about working here at NM? I'd have to say my interaction with the students is my best part of it. They would probably say picking on them, but I would say interacting every day with the students is what I like best. Okay, um, do you enjoy working at NM? I do. Uh, it's one of the best schools that I've taught at. I think the community is great here. The kids are good and uh, administration. Everybody that you work with here is all positive. So yeah, it's a, it's a good place to work. Well, thank you so much for talking with me today. And well, thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like that's all we have time for. See you this time next week, Warhawks.